Melfest is on and SVT has revealed the three hosts. Are you ready to talk about them? <laughs> three hosts are vlogger Clara Henry, pop star David Lindgren, and country music legend Hassa Anderson. They, of course, are age 22, 34, and 68, going very cross-generational. Robin, you have been writing about this morning. What do you think? I think it's a really good selection. Um, a lot of people might not have heard of Clara Henry, but she is... Um, I think she's sort of one of the SBT's up-and-coming um, TV hosts. They had her do the Mel Fest sort of um, pre-show and post-show interviews in 2014. Um, she has a really popular vlog series. Um, when Oscar Sia came out, he gave her like an exclusive first interview, and it was a really, really lovely interview. Um, she's just she's really funny. She's really kind of she's a really cool girl, and I think she'll be a really good. Um, a good person to have on the team and then you've got the sort of the musical theatre David Lindgren kind of guy and then Hassa who was the, the breakout star of 2015 the sort of lovable grandfather character I think it's a really good mix and they're all bringing their own thing to the show and it should be a really good show Last year the, the setup with Gina Duravi and having a different host every single night I thought it was really interesting. I think Gina is an amazing host. William, you got to work with her on Studio yes. Eurovision in Stockholm. Um, she's amazing. And I think she set the standard quite high. Um, I have not experienced any hosting from either of these three people. I've never heard of Clara Henry until 20 minutes ago when I heard the news. Um, just scanning through her YouTube channel, she's got over 400,000 subscribers. As Eurovision fans, we can often forget that Melody Festival is a TV show produced for Sweden and uh, these three people seem suitably uh, appropriate for, for the show and I'm very interested to see how it'll go. Absolutely. 412,000 subscribers. That's like more people than in Yevla, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> they are going to slay. I love that they've chosen this young, fresh, upstart talent. Like, she's really vulgar. Her book, Robin, was called something like, So I Get My Period. Well, I, I, it's not so much vulgar, but she's all about, you know, we should talk about this. We shouldn't be ashamed of it. Her vlog is called Tam Podden. So. Oh, I can translate <laughs> yeah, she, that. <laughs> and also, yeah, yeah. her Twitter account, it says, I fart in your general direction. So, yeah, I'll bring the nose plugs. Um, there's <laughs> honesty here, which is great. David Lindgren is interesting. He's obviously competed three times, gone direct to the final three times. He couldn't come back as a singer. So it's good that they're welcoming him back into the fold. But as a host, he, of course, told us in Malmo that he has sex on the beach. So we are hoping he will do that on air this year. Hassa, as a host, this is going to be very interesting. He was very friendly, very hokey, very open during our interviews with him. But at the after party in 2015, he didn't storm out, but he was definitely ready to go. And we saw him leaving very early. So it'll be curious to see if he'll have the stamina to keep up with all the crazy that goes on at Melfest. I think the one thing that really excites me about him is um, the Melody Festival shows are all about the musical numbers that the hosts do as well as the acts. And... He's the sort of person who can do a serious number, but he can, I'm sure he can also do a good, a good comedy number as well. And that's that's what the, the show is known for. So, um, you know, even if at the end of the evening he's at home having a, a warm cocoa, you know, we'll know that before then he'll be probably putting on a really good show. I mean, he's still a touring professional musician. He's, you know, he knows what to do. I have to say that my favorite thing, as you said already, William, is um, is that you've got literally one person for each sort of generation. And I think as Eurovision sort of develops into a more of a worldwide contest, more than a, a European contest, uh, it's great to sort of incorporate uh, uh, sort of personalities that will appeal to so many different people. You know, we're getting Eurovision fans that are, as, you know, as young as 12 that are, you know, very new to the contest. And there's some people that have been following it ever since, you know, Melody Festival and started. And I think to have three people that that are, everyone's familiar with that people can idolize or relate to, um, it's, it's very, very smart decision-making on SVT's behalf. And all of us are obviously in our early 20s. 
Um, oh, yes. And the thing <laughs> is, Hassa is actually a huge deal. He's had a 35 year career. He hosted a TV show called Hassa's Barn. He's probably, I mean, definitely the biggest of these three stars. Um, but people are like, oh, who's this old man? But y'all, y'all need to go on Wikipedia. <laughs> y'all need to know what's up. He is a big deal. Um, people who aren't Swedish might not have heard of um, Clara or Hassa or think to themselves why are they hosting. But the thing is, Melody Festival is primarily a Swedish TV show. And um, in the opening um, the presentation of the one of the um, SVT executives described it as a flagship show. It's sort of it's what it's a big Swedish deal. So it kind of doesn't really have to be like Eurovision and have these huge recognizable stars. They can just do their own thing for Sweden. And as long as Sweden's tuning in, then in a way that's all they really care about. That's what we think. What do you think? Are you happy with the triple threat hosting Melody Festival in 2017? You can let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. And Josh, what else can they do? They can hit the subscribe button down below. <laughs> and don't forget to give us a like. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.